Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I I just want to explain, so sorry for not posting a video last week. I did put like a little little post letting you guys know that there wouldn't be a video this week. I've honestly been so busy. The past two weeks, I haven't had time to film at all. I've just been out and about and yeah, so excuse that, I'm really sorry. So I thought it would be nice to do a little updated night routine. There's not much that's changed, but it's so nice to film these kind of videos. I love these videos. I probably should do another morning routine, like an updated morning routine. So I'm kind of like, I've just come in from dinner. I had a really nice burger. And I'm like half in pajamas, like half not. <laughs> so I have been out today. I've got literally piles of clothes here that I was wearing today and I need to put them away. There's just kind of like stuff everywhere. I need to tidy. Um, I literally bought like a photo album. I want to put some photos in there. I want to give you a little haul of stuff I've bought the past few days. Now, I'm going to start by getting my pyjamas. I'm not going to wear these pyjama bottoms because literally, what is the date today? It's the 5th of September, officially autumn weather. I'm sorry, what? Why in the UK are we now only now having a heat wave? We've had the whole of summer to have hot weather, literally to have a heat wave. And yet it comes about now. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 30 degrees. Excuse me? And the whole of summer we have had like 12 degrees, raining, cloudy. Like, I think we had autumn weather in summer and now it's gonna be summer weather in autumn. Okay, so what I was saying is I am not wearing this because uh, I'm not gonna lie, I probably will be sleeping naked tonight. <clears throat> it's too hot to wear clothes to bed. Now, I think I might wear this top. This is like my hot weather kind of pajama top. It's kind of cute. I don't know where I got it, no clue. But it's got this little lace here, and it's just basic black. And I might wear it with my Nike shorts. These are literally my mum's from, I probably, talk, you probably hear me loads of times, but they're from the 90s, and I like love the 90s, and to have something originally from the 90s. And they're my mum's, like these used to be her like pee shorts. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, pajamas are on. So, how do you guys feel about a little haul? So, past few days I bought a few things, even today I bought quite a few books. Whoopsies. Literally told myself not to buy any books. I'm not gonna buy any books until I've read everything on my TBR. Like, if you saw my TBR book video, um, I'll put it up in the iCard. Um, I wanted to literally read all of those, then I'll buy books. What's happened? I've bought like five books in the space of three days. But yeah, so let's show you some things I have bought recently. So, start off with, I bought these, oh my God, they're so muddy. Excuse this muddiness, I don't know where they've been. Um, I bought these trainers secondhand of Depop because I've been looking for some really like, I mean like, really thick platform trainers because i'm sick and tired of jeans it's been way too long on me and dragging on the ground even i have like massive buffalo chunky trainers they're still not chunky enough so i've been trying to look like for some massive platform ones and i bought these feeler ones <laughs> they are huge ignore that oh they're so heavy i'm gonna hold one out because they're literally so heavy but they are so cute though. I absolutely love these. They're like absolutely ch just so chunky and just like stompy. I love that. And it is really weird wearing these. It does feel like I'm walking on stilts. And I feel like I have to be really careful walking in them. Because if I like fall a bit, I literally could break my ankle. So I'm like concentrating every time I wear these. But obsessed. Do love these. So I also got this planner. Um, well, it's a diary really for the rest of this year and all of next year just because i've been needed to get one and there were so many other cute options that are just like this basic green but i wanted to have something small that i can just like like small and thin that i can just fit in my bag and take everywhere with me and i do love green like and this forest green i know this plan is for all year round but it is kind of like autumn -y. each page has got like the border has got like different kind of patterns it has like the usual kind of calendar but then it's also got 
like more in depth kind of calendar if you flip forward a bit and there's like yearly goals and stuff like and there's like a contacts page but i'm not going to show that because like that's private stuff but love that one i got this from tk maxx i bought this today i've ran out of room in my albums like i've got three albums and i've run out of room in them so i needed to get another one because I had some photos come through the post from Free Prints, so um, I've still got some more to put in and um, run out of room. So I just got this one from TK Maxx as well, and it's really just cute and basic. It just says photos, but that is like, I think it's Instagram's old picture, so I just kind of liked that. Like it's just kind of like trendy, and the inside is so cute as well. So because I'm literally the kind of person to print out photos and stick them in an album to show them like to my kids and like my grandkids and just show them like all my young years like look at my myself when I was all young you know <laughs> um so I like getting albums albums are really precious to me and I love going through like old family members albums as well I I love it I love it. um the next things I've got to say it's probably not that interesting but it's this little plant pot from TK Maxx and it's just I love that color and it's just like basic but cute like you wouldn't understand how hard it is to find some actual good cute simple fat pots so and it was 3.99 it's good quality 3.99 for just this and i also went to hillier's and i bought this gorgeous plant as well i it's like a prayer plant there's loads of different types of prayer plants um but i can't remember exactly what this one is and she's got a leaf coming out of her here she's absolutely stunning love her so she's just kind of by my tv right now so let me show you the books i bought i bought these two books um and another one from wh smith because it was three for two so if i buy two i'll get one for free so i got never never and hopeless by colleen hoover and this was actually by taryn fisher as well two authors on this i have both read these books already but they were library books and i love them so much i had to get my own copy if you are a fan of Colleen Hoover, read these two. This was my favourite until I read this one. Both really good though. And along with that, I got Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. Yeah. Um, this book apparently is supposed to be really, really sad. But I'm all here for it. I don't know what it is, but at the moment I'm like in a really sad, like not a sad mood, but I'm in like a really sad book mood. Like I wanna be sobbing at books right now. I don't know why, like aggressively cry at books. So this is supposed to be really sad. So it just kind of stood out to me. Should I be concerned in myself? I don't really know. But well, I'm not done yet with the sad books. So I got this one yesterday and this one's meant to be really sad as well. It's called The Way I Used To Be by Amber Smith. Yeah, just, just sad, just sad. Can't wait to read it, can't wait to read it. I'm hoping I cry, I don't know why I'm in that mood. And then I got a book today for free because I got all my stamps from Waterstones that gave me a £10 gift card. So I got a free book with it and I got Too Late by Colleen Hoover and this is like a thriller. I don't think it's a romance, I think it has a hint of romance in it, I think, but it's more of a thriller and I've only read romance books by her so I'm excited to see what this one is about okay i think this is the last thing of stuff i got recently this is a really cute jumper like ignore the hanger i put it on but this is a really cute jumper from h&m and it's so cute it's just like a basic and i don't have any jumpers like i'll have jackets and hoodies i don't have a good like woolen jumper and it's i just love the colors that are in it it's kind of hard to tell but it's like beige mixed with cream i think i've worn it once um just because as soon as I bought it, we've been having heat waves, so yeah. But I absolutely love it. So cute, so cozy. And I definitely need to get some more jumpers. So that is it for the haul. I really need to tidy my room. Like my room is an actual tip. I haven't like tidied it for ages because I've just probably been really busy. Um, so I probably should get on to that. I also did a little cutting of my trailing plant that I've got here. So I did a cutting of it and I put it in water. And like, I don't know if you can tell. But that little dark spot there on, on the bottom of the stem is like a root that's going to come out. And I only did this three days ago, so quite happy with that. Hopefully it will continue to go well. I've got like a little mini nursery going on here. <laughs> this little leaf that's grown a little plant. 
this is cute i love i love plants like i love plants they just bring me so much joy i feel like i see them as my babies you know <laughs> oh my god i've just seen so my grandma does this every single day when i come home from being out whatever i'll find my favorite teddy sungly in a random place in my room and i just saw him there he's so cute this is like one of the first ever teddies i had and he's really beat up now but i love him still you know you don't have to be perfect to be loved. Everyone's perfect in their own way and he is my absolute perfect. So yeah, every time I come home, he's in like a different place in my room, which is really sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna go take my makeup now. I'm gonna go take my contact lenses out. Need my solution and I need my makeup remover and I'm gonna need my Nivea moisturizer. So you can, you can come with me if you want, come, come, come with me. moisturizer that's got sun cream in it and I use it in the mornings only because yes I'm kind of like only like I've run out of my other products but I'm only using this because my skin has been reacting to something I've been putting on face I've been doing it for a while so I'm trying to figure out what product like what skincare product I'm wearing that's causing it because my skin is really sensitive so it will come up to any kind of spot this one I have been using for years and years and my skin's been totally okay with it. So I know it's not this. So I'm currently working it out what it is. I'm not sure. So just using that for now. I'm now going to put literally, I've only got a few left of photos. I think like three. I've got four left. I'm now going to put them into my new little album. Like, I need to tidy my room, but I'm like too sweaty. I just want to like flop. I could really do an ice bath right now. But I've done that now with the album so far. So I should probably just get to tidying my room. <clears throat> okay, I got myself some water. Stay hydrated, guys. I literally drunk all of that i feel at the top i drank all of that already just like from filling up and coming up the stairs so i'm gonna turn on all these lights and i'm gonna put on my pretty phone lights i don't think you guys have seen them yet Ta -da! i wanted to get some lights to go like here and to there i love them i don't know why but my camera's kind of picking up a bluey tint i feel like i'm in twilight i'm not mad about that though um because where's jacob needs to like hurry up this is flumpy frog um love him evie got me him my birthday even though i love flumpy so much no one can be sungly and as you can see he's been through a lot in his life he did have a blanket one of my dogs has taken it literally all of this damage is pretty much from all the dogs i've had but you know his imperfections make him perfect to me so it is what it is so i am currently reading this book it is called tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabrielle zevin and it's like it's okay so far i mean i'm only that much through so i've got all of that it doesn't really flow but look how cute the cover is anyways so i'm going to continue reading Okay, I think it's time for me to go to bed now. I'm done with reading. I read quite a few pages. I actually read a lot today. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'm sorry I didn't post last week. But I hope this video made up for me not posting last week. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.